Hi, I'm Tom Marcone, Vice President of Marketing at Walcam, and it is a beautiful day to talk about boiler controller setup. It's very important when setting up a boiler controller in the boiler room that the ambient temperatures in the boiler room do not exceed that recommended by the controller manufacturer. This is usually somewhere in between minus 4 and 125 degrees Fahrenheit. There are six buttons on the controller main screen that control all functions of the controller. Inputs. This is where the user programs the sensors, analog, digital, and virtual inputs on the controller. Outputs. Where the user programs the relays, analog outputs, virtual outputs of the controller. Alarms. This page shows the user what inputs and outputs are in alarm. Config allows the user to get any files locally from the USB drive on the front of the controller, set up the email report page, and set up the security level on the controller. HOA, this page allows the user to manually turn the relays on and off. And graphs. This option allows the user to set up graphs which can be visually seen on the controller screen. The graphs can show sensor values, analog inputs, analog outputs, and relays. There will only be one sensor input card on the controller if monitoring one boiler, and two sensor input cards on the controller if monitoring two boilers. For one boiler, the sensor input card will be installed on the top of the controller door, and for two boilers, one on top and one on the bottom. The top card is aligned with sensor input S11, and the bottom card will be aligned with sensor input S21. Sensor S11 gets wired to TB1, and sensor S21 gets wired to DB2. To determine how the sensor is wired to the controller, the user will need to look at the sticker on the front of the sensor input card. This sticker shows all the sensors get wired to the controller. In order to determine how the boiler sensor is wired to the controller, look at the one labeled CCOND. Here you will see that the boiler conductivity sensor can have a total of five wires if it has ATC, or automatic temperature control. They will be labeled temp plus, Temp minus, RCB, XMT, and shield. The red wire on the sensor will get wired to the terminal block XMT. The black sensor wire gets wired to RCB. The green wire to temp plus, the white wire to temp minus, and the ground wire to shield. If the sensor does not have automatic temperature control, it will only have three wires, red, black, and shield. After wiring the boiler conductivity sensor to the controller, the user will now have to set up the sensor in the controller menu. In order to do that, you will need to do the following. Here are the do's and don'ts regarding sensor installation. Do not run sensor wires near high voltage lines or VFDs. Do not run wires in conduit with other wires. Make sure the hole in the sensor is in line with the piping for best results. All sensors have a manufacturer's maximum distance. Make sure you do not exceed these values. For a Walcam boiler sensor, it can go up to 250 feet maximum. Clean the sensor periodically as needed, or at a minimum, once per year. To 
calibrate the boiler conductivity sensor, we'll need to do the following. First, take a boiler sample and measure its conductivity with any handheld device. Then, go to the inputs page. Select the sensor you want to calibrate, in this case, sensor S11. Next, you'll select the calibration button, which looks like a bullseye on the menu. You'll now see the calibration options. You'd want to select one point process calibration. Next, enter the test result you received from your handheld conductivity meter and hit the check mark. Wait for about 30 seconds and you'll see the screen show calibration successful. Hit the check mark and you're good to go. Items to check to make sure your chemical feed system is working correctly. Make sure the water meter is registered on the controller by checking the controller menu for gallons of makeup water. And make sure the pumps are coming on with the correct water meter addition in the correct amount of time.